What's up everyone? Welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to install a center console safe in a 2022 Chevy Silverado. So this is going into a Silverado in this video, but it'll also be the same for the GMC Sierra. And this is only going to apply to the trucks that have the bucket seats in the front with the full center console. So this safe was shipped to us in this box. And I'll put a link in the description box of this video to where you can purchase this safe if you're interested. It's got a four digit combo on there and it comes set to all zeros. We'll take a look at how to reset that combo at the end of the video. And it opens like that. So before we get in the truck, there's a few things we need to do to prep this safe. If you notice, there's these little side pieces right here. You can kind of see, you see these two screws holding it on. I've already got these two screws removed on this side and then this piece is going to come off there like that and we'll just set that to the side. So I'll come over here and do the same thing, remove these two screws. These are just Phillips screws. Remove that and then take that piece off just as this side is. And then once you have those two pieces off, we'll come in here and remove that little liner in the bottom. Once we have our safe to that point, we're going to come over to the truck and we need to remove some items from the center console. In order to do that, we're going to need a T15 Torx bit and a 10 millimeter socket. The directions for this actually called for an 11 millimeter, but I found that it actually takes a 10. So I'm going to grab those couple tools and we'll head to the inside of the vehicle for the next shot. So taking a look at the center console, if we go ahead and open it, we see these two plastic brackets on the side, one here, and there's one on this side as well. That's where the T15 Torx bit's gonna come in. There's two T15 Torx screws holding each bracket on, so go ahead and remove those two, and that bracket will come off. Remove these two, and that bracket will come off. Then if we take a look in the bottom, we see this little tab right here. If you get your hand on that and pull up on that liner, it's gonna expose these two bolts. These are gonna be the two 10 millimeter bolts that we need to remove. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove those two bolts and I'm gonna remove those four screws and take those two brackets off and then I'll check back in in the next shot. All right, so we got our two 10 millimeter bolts out of the bottom and then we got our four screws off the side and remove those two trim pieces and this is what we're left with. Now we're gonna grab our safe and you can kind of see that these two tabs, you can kind of see how they're going to fit in here and here. And the combination will be at the front. So just go ahead and slide your safe down like that. Then if we open it, what we're going to do is grab the hardware pouch that came with our safe. And we're going to use our two new 10 millimeter bolts. And those will go in here and here. So go ahead and bolt those down. Then you're gonna grab the two side pieces that we removed from the, the safe itself and put those back on and those are just held on by the Phillips head screws. So put both of those sides back on and then you'll close the safe and we'll grab the plastic trim pieces that we removed from the sides and put those back on, put those uh, two T15 screws on each side so go ahead and put all that stuff back on that we just went over. That's what I'm going to do. And then I'll check back in in the next shot. All right, so I got everything put back together. I started with these two bolts on the bottom and got those in. Once you get those tightened down, you can then go ahead and throw your mat back in the bottom. Then I got these two uh, little access pieces on the safe itself attached. This one and this one. Got those four... Phillips head screws tighten down and then it's easiest if you close it and then get these two side trim pieces back on and these two side trim pieces back on it's pretty tight but they do go on as you see there so once we have everything in there the final thing we're going to take a look at is how to change the combination in that hardware bag that comes with the kit they include a little thumbtack like this so grab that or something similar and then we're going to open the safe and again, it comes factory set to all zeros. So what we're gonna do with it in the open position like this, on the front of this dial, there's a little bit of a notch right here. 
So with it open in the open position like this, what I'm gonna do is take that thumbtack and I'm gonna push it in that notch and you feel it kind of depress a button. So push it down and hold that button down and then set the combo to whatever you want. I'm just gonna set it to one, two, three, four. So I'll have that set to one, two, three, four. And then before you close it, you can check it. And that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, I'll put the link to where you can purchase this safe in the description box of this video. And if you could take a second to like and subscribe, it helps us out and I'd appreciate it. Thank you.